Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a specific romance recommendation video of It Was You at First Sight, which is not Insta Love. I'm gonna say this is more like I was so infatuated with you at first sight and I knew you were the one, but we haven't fallen in love yet. But I know we're gonna fall in love and we're gonna be together. So I really love this trope. I love it when, especially the hero, is just like, you're mine and it's gonna happen. And so this kind of is similar to like my Smitten Heroes romance recommendation video, which I can link down below, but it's a little bit different because they're not always like smitten. Sometimes they're like really grumpy and grouchy, but they're just like, um, but you're mine. So I'm gonna get to our romances. The first one's a historical romance I recently finished and I loved it and that's To Catch an Earl by Kate Bateman. This one, our hero and our heroine meet at a ball and I'm pretty sure it's a masquerade ball because he has no idea who she is, but he remembers her smell with like of her perfume, which will come into play later and they are immediately so drawn to each other and they have a kiss and then they don't see each other for years and then our hero smells her perfume and he's like who is she like where is she our heroine is actually a jewel thief and she has taken over for her father and they are stealing jewels to return back to france so they're stealing it because they were stolen from france so she's tracked down all of them she's really really good at her job she checks out the area and she's super stealthy and can put hold her own like a fight and so she's been stealing these jewels and our hero is actually in charge of trying to find out who it is and it's super angsty because like once he realizes it's her he can't deny that he likes her but he's like but she's the one i'm supposed to take down and it's so good but he's like she's the one that I've been obsessed with all these years and I love that trope and there's always like oh they fell in love at a masquerade but they don't know who each other are I have another one like that on this, this list but this was really good I do think the ending kind of wrapped up a little too quickly but I just love this so much so definitely read it I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way because it's another one where it's a masquerade and that is an offer from a gentleman by Julia Quinn. This one, um, Benedict literally is obsessed with her. Our heroine Sophie is actually low class and so she she gets to dress up and go to this ball and it's a Cinderella retelling and so she like took her, I think it was her stepmother's like shoes or something and she goes to the ball and he's instantly like you're mine. Like, I am obsessed with you. And he meets her, falls in love, and then doesn't see her again. And he is so caught up on, like, this image of this woman, though, that when he meets Sophie, like, later and starts falling for her, he's like, but my perfect woman's out there and I, I can't do this. And so he is so obsessed with the idea of this mystery woman that he won't even, like, give in to someone he's falling for because he thinks that this woman is the ideal woman, even though they're the same person. And so it's really great, but it's also a different social class romance and I loved it so much and you should read it. The next one I'm gonna recommend is The Lady of Rooksgrave Manor because this one's a monster romance but like every single hero is literally obsessed with our heroine like the moment they meet her and she first meets this doctor who is basically Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde. He has two sides to him and he is instantly captivated by her and takes her to Rooksgrave Manor where she is working and she has clients and we have a vampire, a like stone man, a sphinx I think and then we have our Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde. And I don't remember if there's another character, but it's great. Like, they all literally are obsessed with her and will do anything to make her happy. And it's amazing. And you should read it. That's really all I can say about that book. Then we have Games We Play, which is a really fun short novella. I don't remember the author, but the photo's here. And this one, our heroine's a journalist, and she shows up. And our hero is this famous, like, gamer, but he's mostly known for his voice. And so he has a lot of people who will pay him to just, like, say things because they love his voice. And she is there to interview him. And they really hit it off. And they, the hero's like, you're going to spend the night with me. And so they end up spending the night together and go out to, like, a club and meet all of his friends and it's a really fun short novella and I really liked how just like hard and fast they fell for each other even though it wasn't really love and the epilogue did like kind of kind like happen too quickly but because it's a novella they didn't really have that much time to develop it so they spent like more time in the present but this one was a lot of fun I'd recommend it. Then I have Hero by Lauren Rowe our hero of this book is a firefighter and he ends up saving a child but gets really hurt in the process and so he is in the hospital and the physical therapist is our heroine. She's a single mom and he is completely just 
smitten with her the moment he meets her. And she's definitely more hesitant, but it's so cute watching them fall in love with each other. This one is a series also about siblings, which I absolutely love because we get to see like their dynamic with one another and all the siblings do get romances. So this is a great first book to the romance. And I would really recommend picking this one up. Another one is like this because it's pretty much Faded Mates. It's a werewolf romance and that's Wolf Song by TJ Klune. I haven't talked about this one in a while, but our, it's an MM romance and our heroes meet and Joe, it's Joe and Ox and Joe is, is like eight years younger than Ox, I think, and Joe is like a kid when they meet, and Joe is just like obsessed with the idea of Ox, and he's like, you're mine, and it's not anything like romantic, but Joe instantly latches on to Ox, and then once they're both older and Joe is in his 20s, it's like, okay, now I know, you're mine, and so they had that really strong bond when they first met, and they had this whole thing, which I don't want to spoil, but like with like the kind of mates thing that they have when Joe was young that he gave something to Ox and it was really sweet and then they figure out like what that means and I just really love the emotional connection these two characters have and how strong of a pull they have to one another and the fact that when it finally turns into something romantic they're like of course this is like what it's always been supposed to be but they're also really nervous about it because they've been in a part of each other's lives for so long and it's so sweet and there's a lot going on in this plot though look there's bad guys and it spans over a long time and it's super emotional but it's fantastic then there's a night like this by julia quinn which <laughs> it's so funny because our hero is like so smitten with our heroine and it's another class difference our heroine's actually a governess and i believe it's like their cousins i don't remember how they're related but she's a governess to these three girls and i love how much they're part of this book and our hero is always around them and so then he makes excuses to be around them more because he's just like i like you and you're gonna be mine and so he forces his way not like creepily though like cutely I, I don't even know how to explain it but he just ends up being around them all the time and he's just like I like you and you're gonna be with me even though it's a social class difference she's a governess it was adorable and I really like I said liked the three girls that she was watching and how they became part of the book and they're part of the next book too and I just really enjoyed this one it is book two I think in the series but I did really enjoy it he was actually in a duel in the first one so there's that and the last one I'm saving for last because I literally talked about this book in the last couple of videos, but that is The Duke and the Lady in Red, and this one, our hero and heroine meet, and our hero and heroine are both extremely into each other, and they're like, we have this bond, we have this attraction, and like, I'm obsessed with you, but our heroine needs money, and she knows she can get it out of him in order to save herself and her family, so she swindles money out of him. She lies, and takes money from him, and as she is leaving, literally like getting in the coach to run off to Scotland with her family, um, he shows up, and he is not happy because he is so into her, and is like, you're gonna be mine, but he's mad that she like swindled him, and so he offers her a week with him, and he'll give her the money and so she accepts and it's this made me cry this is like such a good romance this was in two recent videos that i did like i said but i just cannot stop raving about this book and how much they were into each other in the beginning and how that led to their connection throughout the book and i'm just like obsessed with heroes like that who are just so into the heroine and will be with them and not deny their attraction to them so this one prepare to cry but you'll love it and those are some romances where it was like literal infatuation at first sight like i said these aren't in love at first sight it's not insta love they just have this intense attraction to one another and will not deny the fact that they really want that person so let me know if you have any recommendations like this down below i would really love to hear as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye